you've got to ask yourself, what do I want out of life? What do you want out of life? What do you want out of a job? What do you want out of a career? What do you want out of a relationship? What do you want? What gives you your life? What, how will you know when you got it? What will make you happy? You need to know. You need to start asking yourself some questions. What do I really, really, truly want? You envision something, you got clear about it, and then you start thinking about all the reasons why you wanted it. You got excited about it. So this is what's next for me now. I want this. You may have dreamed about it, thought about it, talked about it. But when you focus on something continuously, something magical happens. You get insights, don't you? You overhear a conversation and you hear something you wouldn't have heard if you didn't have that outcome or goal that you wanted so badly. If you have a specific skill set or talent that just immediately propels you to the top, yeah, you want to follow that. When you find something you're good at, yeah. go for it. Yeah. And I also, also always say it's not about passion. Everybody's got passion for something, yeah. right? Don't follow your passions, follow your efforts. Because okay. people say, you know, I was passionate to play baseball. I was passionate yeah. to play basketball. Yeah. It doesn't mean I, all of a sudden I was going to be good enough. Yeah. But I found myself spending, being really curious about business, being really curious about technology. And that curiosity is really what drove me. And I think, particularly if you're young today, curiosity is great. Always learning and trying to find new things and being curious about new things. Because that's what leads you to that path. Trying to figure out in advance, yeah. that's hard because you don't know what you yeah. don't know. You have to have an emotional investment in what you're doing. If you don't love what you're doing, um, failure is pretty much guaranteed. Success is not guaranteed by any means, but failure is m much more likely if you don't love what you're doing. Your life would feel better and richer if you had a goal, you chase that goal, you accomplish some things, you would get this boost of confidence, you'd get this boost of self-esteem, like whatever it is that you're into doing. Maybe you're into drawing comic books, maybe you're into uh, making pottery or sculptures, or but find whatever the f that is and pursue that instead of doing nothing. Now is the time to take risk. You don't have kids. As you get older, your obligations increase. And once you have a family, you start taking risks not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time t to do that uh, before, you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now, do something bold. If you want to control your own destiny, you work for yourself. That's how it works. I'm trying to inspire those of you who are on the tipping point. Take the chance, you're young. Go for it. There's nothing better than being able to wake up in the morning, 10 years or 20 years from now, and do whatever you like. So you want to work on yourself. You want to read books that inspire you and motivate you. You want to listen to tapes over and over and over again. And I suggest that you listen to tapes when you first get up in the morning. You want to control the spirit of your day. When you first wake up in the morning, your mind is operating at 10.5 wave cycles per second. That's when the subconscious mind is most impressionable. Whatever you hear in the first 20 minutes when you wake up, that will affect the spirit of your day. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. The one commodity that is most valuable on this earth is time. Time to love, time to live. From the moment the human body is born, it begins dying. <laughs> I don't think you, you quite caught that. Let me say it again. From the moment the human body is born, it begins dying. Some happen faster, some happen slower, some of us help them happen, go faster, and some of them prevent it from happening sooner than later. How many seconds, how many minutes do we waste every day doing things that are nowhere near the goals and aspirations and passions that we have inside? How many times do you go through the course of a day and realize 
did I do anything I set out to do today? Write down those goals each and every day. No matter if it's two goals a day, if you can accomplish those, then you're doing more than just making it through the day. You are living and achieving your dreams. Find time to better yourself. Read, explore, research, live life. Do things you've never thought of doing before. That's what it's all about. When you're born, that's that date that they put on the left side of the tombstone. <laughs> when you die, they put another date on the right side of the tombstone. But that dash in the middle is the most important thing on that tombstone. That is a line that throughout that entire time frame, you were able to impact and touch others' lives. You were able to leave your mark on this earth. You were able to build a legacy that nobody could change. You were able to have it to where people remembered who you are no matter what. When you're living for that dash in the middle, you're going to remember your why. <laughs> your why, why you're here. Not, not the why, why did you do something. Your why, your, your reason for getting up in the morning, your reason for pushing yourself past the brink of exertion and giving up. Your reason for moving on and, and, and getting things done in life. That dash in the middle, that's the thing that pushes you. How do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 in terms of your physical appearance, in terms of your health? Do you take care of yourself? Are you allowing yourself to get overweight and out of shape? Are you conscious of your health? Are you watching the food that you take into your body? Do you make a deliberate effort to exercise? You know, it was George Burns. He said, we cannot help getting older, but we don't have to get old. And many of us get old before our time because we don't take time to take care of ourselves. Your environment is a very good indicator on a scale of one to 10. Is it what you want it to be? Do you find it desirable? Are you satisfied? The job or career that you're involved in. Someone said that 85% of the American public unhappy with their jobs. Are you spending eight hours a day just doing time? Doing something that you don't find challenging, that does not make you stretch mentally, that does not stimulate you, that does not inspire you. Something that you don't find a sense of fulfillment in it. If you're doing that day in and day out, it has to affect how you feel about yourself, your level of motivation, your relationships. What kind of impact is it having on your life? Is it nourishing or is it a toxic relationship? Does it drain you or does it build you up? Ask yourself that. How motivated are you to do something about it? Your contribution, your actions. What are you giving? Many people will leave the universe without a trace. No one will know they were here. And in fact, under their name, we could put under there, not used up. Will anybody know that you came this way? What contribution are you giving? What will you leave? What will be different because you came this way? Just, just stop for a second. Write down your why. What, what are you doing this for in life? If your why doesn't make you cry, then that's not your why. Again, if your why doesn't make you cry, then that's not your why. Your why should be something so big that it moves your family tree. Your why should be something so big that it changes the whole outlook on how things are with you and your home, your family, your religion, your purpose. Think about your passion. Think about your opportunities. And that's how you find your purpose. OPP. When that why meets up with your passion, your opportunity, your purpose, then you'll find out. The most important day in your life is the day you remember why you were born.